pounds, and now in his 18th season, the voice of Lehigh Wrestling, Larry Sheridan. Thank you, Sandy. Nice to be here with you. Last dual meet of the season for the university. Next week's the Easterns, and immediately Ed Regan. In on a single, trying to convert. No takedown. Fran Michael is your official. Regan's in, but he hasn't been able to convert the takedown. He's got to either trip or go behind him and take his man to the mat. Now he's got there it. He gets it At the edge of the mat, he gets it. That puts out in front. Now Bone, 10 and 8, a Good freshman. Job. Regan's a freshman. Again, uh, almost opposite parts of the country. Regan from Fulton, California. Now Bone of f and out of Bemis Point, New York. Two and a half minutes remaining in the first period. Regan of Lehigh in control by a score of 2 0. The wrestlers go off the edge of the mat. Now we'll return to the center. Top. Good shot of James Nalbone, the freshman. And gains the escape. It's 2 to 1. Bailey, Regan back in there. He's going for that same leg, Larry. He likes that single shot. Hasn't converted it because of the wizard, because but if he drops the leg over, he does. Now he got to cross body ride. Goes ahead by a score of four to one for Reagan of Lehigh. That's a stalemate. Referee will restart them after calling a stalemate. Back into what they simply call the starting position. Years ago, it used to be known as the referee's position. You might want to mention, Larry, that there's two different ways that they can start. Yeah. One, two, three. The, the one is if you want them to, to, to escape. It's an easy way to let them up. There's an escape for... Ties it up. No, 4-2. Escape for Nalbone, making the score 4-2 to two with a minute 38 left in the first period. Nice crowd on hand tonight. We were uh, a little delayed in getting started to the finals tonight. Uh, prior to the finals, a great prep school battle. The 52nd Lehigh National Prep School Championships. And uh, a tournament that ran for two days with uh, 72 schools entered. Uh, 441 wrestlers competed. 620 bouts took place in two days of wrestling. And it's a credit to the university I'll to run it on time. So they were 15 minutes late after all that. That's not all that bad. Wrestling. 620 bouts, Sandy. That's a lot That's of wrestling. That's a lot of wrestling, you're right. And of course, Blair won the overall Blair. team title. Blair. I'll Shoot. give you that credit, Sandy, as an <laughs> alumnus of Blair Academy. And uh, the undergraduate division was run, won by Bullis Prep, and I congratulate Bullis's coach, Walt King, who's a, Lehi who's a Lehigh alumnus, was a great football player at Lehigh, now elected to be the coach of Bullis Prep, and his team come through, and immediately... Now Bones in on single on Reagan, converts it for two points with 45 up. seconds left in the first period. That'll tie the match up at four apiece. Suffice it to say, we got a tie battle, and these are, these are the areas where Lehigh has to come through and there's a bloody nose in Lehigh's Regan actually the skin the bridge of his nose so time advantage is being knocked down 30 seconds in front of uh, Lehigh's favor at the moment 30 seconds remaining in the first period what Regan gains in his escape now Close leads five. five five to four for Regan of Lehigh Duck under attempt, converting to a single by now Bone. Stalemate. Relax. No, no. Potentially dangerous. Potentially dangerous. Let's go. Mark Fowler, the coach in his seventh year at FM, the diplomats. Ten seconds left. Still in the first period, a lot of scoring. 5 4 on the board. There's a shot. There's a shot by Reagan. Just as time's running out, but neutral. A little too late. Mm -hmm. 
special. Defer Lehigh. Now, now Bone defers, defers to deferred. Reagan. Take Bone. All right, Franklin Marshall defers. Lehigh chooses down. Let's go. Here we go. Okay, the first thing you do is break the ankle hook and then gain the escape and then go work for a takedown. That's a little secret I learned by watching Coach Turner give him some hand signals. Now the guy got the ankle. That's what Turner said. Break that ankle first. Now, now Bo tilting him. Not yet. If you hear the referee count, he'll be earning near fall points. Nothing earned. Nothing earned. Not like it was last year on the so-called cheapies. Where you just get a quick tilt. Now you need two full seconds. I think the wrestling fans have got that one in their book. One. Now we're going to get a stalling situation because of inactivity in a standard position, but an escape comes up. Looks like, looks like Nelbone just let him out, Larry. We have a minute 15 remaining in the second period. Score is six to four in favor of Lehigh's Reagan. There's a shot by Nelbone, but Reagan snaps him down, spins, scores a takedown. Watch it on, watch it on, get it down, get it down. Got the hammer lock on him, and they cross the line. Reagan came very close to snapping him back and uh, getting a near fall there, Larry. Well, actually, the referee was out of position to do his counting, and that uh, that can be expected in these lightweight battles. They hip-hop all over the place. I know when I refereed, they drove me nuts when they get those cradles in the high schools. And they'd spin around and spin around, and, of course, half the fans would be booing at you, and the other half wouldn't. But it's all part of the action. That was some great wrestling tonight uh, in those prep school Battles. Certainly was. Seven, they used seven mats in the uh, quarterfinals in the wrestleback. So you had seven mats going in uh, this place. It was a lot of action. And a 50-second tournament, 50-second prep school championship. 30 That's seconds it. remaining in the second period. Reagan of Lehigh is ahead by a score of eight to four. One, two, and an escape. There's eight an escape. Five. In the middle, you're neutral. So with 17 seconds left in the second period, they have an eight to five score. Here we go. Time advantage is Lehigh's for what it's worth, 27 seconds. Wrestlers are in the neutral position, circling in the middle of the mat. Ed Regan, not having a good season, three and 12, hoping to pick up his fourth victory tonight. But I think we may run out of time. That's right, time running down, he can't does not convert the single and does not gain the takedown. Therefore, the score is 8 to 5. Okay, use that every time. Let's take a look at this replay, Larry. Okay. Reagan snapping and going okay, behind. Got, Actually, it was a move initiated by the F&M wrestler, Al Bone, and Reagan just countered. Got a nice move. Just spin around the back, pick up the takedown. You see That's the gal on the Lehigh, Lehigh scorer on the bench applauding? <laughs> yes. That's supposed to do that. <laughs> Top. Two minutes, two minutes uh, left in the 118-pound bout. Start of the third period. Lehigh's Reagan starts on top. Looks like an escape is imminent. Now Bone stands up, peeling those hands, turns, faces a moment, and gets one for an escape, making the score eight to six in favor of Lehigh's Regan. Right, Regan jumps in. But they ran out of real estate. Here we go. About a 35-foot area there. It's clear and white. A 10-foot circle in the middle. I think, Larry, the more aggressive wrestler is going to prevail here. Yeah, it's a situation that uh, possibly go from a two-point takedown to a two-point near fall. That could be a move. Two-point margin is not that comfortable of a margin. Not even with five seconds ago. It <laughs> Many a wrestler has learned the hard way. Well, I saw one of the uh, bouts this afternoon where Blair Academy was involved in in the finals. But five seconds ago, the in the the guy uh, he gets taken down at the buzzer, and they go to overtime, and he, there's an escape at the buzzer. I mean, everything happened at the buzzer, right and he the lost on end. a lost on a criteria. Huh? 
There's a duck under attempt by. Now Bowen has a single. It's going in for a single, but they're off the edge of the mat. There's a minute eight remaining in the third period. Score is eight for Lehigh's Reagan and six for FM's now Bowen. So the real test will come up, Sandy, I think, with about 40 seconds ago when uh, the referee gets usually gets involved. That's right. There it's, there it's started already. That's what I was going to say. The referee gets involved on a stalling call, but Regan answers that with a takedown. Now has a tent. Now has a four-point lead, and if he rides him out, can pick up some time advantage as well. 45 seconds remaining in the third period. Now has a cross arm, cross face. Now he's had a warning, Larry. He is kind of parallel wrestling a little bit. Well, there he's converting to a, a cradle attempt. Looks like they're going to go off the edge of the mat. He won't get any near fall points with that cradle. But you saw 101 up on the board. That means at this time he has one minute, one second riding time right. advantage, which is worth a point. Uh, if there was however, no more scoring, that would make the final 11 yep. for Regan, six for Nalbone. There's 28 seconds remaining in the third period. But he could lose it if the other, uh, if Nalbone gets away and takes him down. Takes him right to his back for a four point swing. You see the time in so the upper left hand corner of your screen. Yeah, he's a guaranteed point for time now with 10 seconds left. It's 10 6 on the board. The point for time, I think this will end up 11 to 6. Ed Regan of Lehigh, the victor over James Nalbone of FM. Shake hands, gentlemen. Good match. Raise the hand of Ed Regan. It was close. I didn't think Boost it was his close record to 412 and one now. To get out, he got out. To get out, he did. Well, oh yeah, but he brought a cradle on the first one, and then he crawled again. Well, okay, all right. All right.